Welcome to the channel and to this showcase video featuring City Terrain. Right, this should just be a quick video. Basically, I bought a lot of terrain recently and I want to show it off. Here it is, here's most of it. All laid out on the table for you. Doesn't it look pretty? I've set the table up like this because I'm gonna be fighting a game tomorrow on this terrain versus Dom from Black Toad Studios. It'll be the next video up on the channel, so stay tuned for that. Or unless you're watching this historically, uh, many months from now, then uh, check out that game. It should be versus Militarum Tempestus, which will also be featured for the first time on this channel. Now let's have a quick look at this terrain. Basically, I got it from a studio called Zen Terrain. I'll show you the website in a minute. And it was all painted up and put together for me by Minis for War Painting Studios. Again, I'll show you some links to that. And as you can see, down here in this container district, I've got some boxes, some boxes, a little outpost there, and these walls that go around it. These walls uh, can be broken up and uh, moved around and put in different patterns. Just unclip that one there. As you see, they just slot in. So that's very good. They all come apart. They're not glued together, so you can make many different shapes with them. Little benches here, they're nice too. Items of city furniture here, like these planters, like the crates, like the boxes. These things can get moved around, but I like them as well. On top of that building there, that extract. Um, yeah, bits of city furniture to give life to the board. Let me put my wall back. Other bits of furniture you can get are these walkways. These come off, these extensions uh, can come off, can get moved around, put where you want. Walkway goes on top of there, walkway goes on top of there, or between any uh, two sets of buildings you prefer. Talking about these buildings, I really like this modular design, these square boxes. This thing, and this thing, and this thing. These are three separate building units here. But as you can see, I've put one on top of the other here to give a two-story structure rather than a one-story structure. And this thing backed into that to give it a large, chunky building look. See, over here, two of them, two little square buildings uh, just pushed together just to make it look like a larger building. And you can stack that one on top of that one. So it looks like that, how cool is that? And these ones as well, these large buildings, I've got two of these, they can stack on top of each other as well. There's my second building, I'm not gonna shove that in there, but uh, you, can, you can shove them in there and make them higher and higher and higher as you so wish, different designs, different layouts. Honestly, it's like playing with Lego, so many different ways you can uh, uh, put these buildings together. I really like them. As soon as I uh, opened the package, I immediately put down a battle mat and started moving them around all over the place and uh, making the different different tables. So whatever designer in Zen Terrain came up with these building designs, this modular design, he's a genius. He definitely deserves an extra cookie with his tea. Uh, I've got another build in here. This is a bar with some parking spaces around there. Uh, Doorways going on, doorways going on. There's a couple of other buildings, designs that you can get as well. Police stations, uh, um, uh, just a lot of different things you can get. The buildings are made out of MDMF, just uh, snapped and fit together. I'm not sure if you need any glue to glue them together. Like I said, all of this paint job and all of these buildings and uh, these crates and things were put together by Minis for War for me. And I know they've got a big uh, page on their website, uh, um, on their blog, telling you uh, how they did this stuff and how they stuck it together and how they painted it. So I'm not sure whether he used any glue. It doesn't look like he used any glue. It looks like you just, it's just snap fit. So why did they get all this stuff? Well, I was talking to Fen from Minis for War uh, about making a different kind of cityscape, uh, a Halo-esque cityscape, a Star Trek-esque cityscape, a very sci-fi look in city, something that was different from your standard imperial planets, something that would stand out and perhaps um, pop a little bit more. Uh, and it would be it would be awesome to play on. I wanted it to be terrain dense, city dense with lots and lots of streets. And I thought it would be good watching tanks and rhinos and space marines clash on a table like this. And then Fen said, have you seen Zen Terrain? And I said, no, I have not. And he got in contact with him and did all the rest for me. And I'm so pleased I did it. 
Um, like I said, the, the modular design of these buildings, the different ways that you can put them on the tabletop, the different ways you can lay them out. I can see many different combinations happening and um, it certainly ticks all the boxes that I wanted, which was a striking, visual, visually arresting um, uh, battle grid to fight on. While we're plugging different companies, let's plug this battle mat as well. This mat comes from Urban Mats, that's Urban and Mats with a Z. And as you can see, it's a, a very nice mat and it makes perfect sense for terrain like this. You can also get a city mat from um, a company called GameMat.eu. He's under here somewhere. This, this mat here, I'm sure you guys have seen it many times on the channel and on other people's channels. So on the GameMat.eu mat and on the Urban Mats mat, this particular type of terrain is going to pop. Alrighty then, this is the Zen Terrain website. We're at zenterrain.com. Click on their 28 mil page, click on Cypher Buildings, and as you can see, three buildings here, 23 euros. These are the square buildings I showed you. These buildings here, three of them for 23 quid. Solid MDMF stuff. That's, that's a bargain. And here's the two larger buildings, 21 quid. That's these puppies right here so uh, as you can see you can load up on quite a few buildings for not a lot of wonga it's good value for money i reckon and this is the website for minis for war the guy who painted it all up and uh, put me in touch with zen terrain and look those are my scouts he painted up uh, a bunch of my scouts previously you may have seen that uh, showcase video on the scouts here's the uh Blog that I was telling you about the review of futuristic scenery from Sen Terrain Part 1. No sprues at all, just popping them all apart, sticking them together. What he did to help me build my city. Okay, so them's the links. This is the table. What do you guys think? I know it's you're probably more likely to see tables like this in games of Infinity or Judge Dredd or other types of gaming system, but there's no reason why. You can't stick a rhino on a table and play it on a battle grid that looks like this. The galaxy is a vast place full of billions and billions of planets after all. Um, so there must be places that look like this in the Imperium. There must be hundreds of thousands of planets that look like this in the Imperium. There'll certainly be planets that look like this in the part of the Imperium where the 13th currently are and the Penitent Forge currently are because I like it. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to show off some of the new things that I've got recently and um, show you the links on the website so you know where to get this stuff yourself if you're interested. As I said, a couple of days time, the video versus Dom from Black Toast Studios will go up so you'll be able to see the fight on this table. And uh, otherwise, click back through the channels if you're watching this historically. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and happy wargaming.